Hi everyone, welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I hope everyone is doing a great, maybe making baby steps or giant steps on your fitness or whatever goals you happen to be going for for Wellness Wednesday, whether it's physical, mental, financial, spiritual, whatever it is, I wish you luck and I, and it's just, it's so great that we are all here to support each other. So I want to thank you for being here and uh, I'm sorry I have been out of commission the past couple of weeks. I have been working long days. I've been working till like 11, 11.30, midnight. One day this week I even worked till 2 o'clock in the morning. So I haven't really been uh, doing so great on my fitness goals, but I am hoping, and plus with the sciatica, I haven't been able to exercise as much as I want to. But um, for me, um, what I wanted to do was really work on my core strength, some upper body strength, some core strength. And yeah, so I, I need to work on that. But I also wanted to manage my stress a little bit better too. So I've been getting into some reading and just um, really enjoying that. And whether I come home um, at night and I just maybe read for five or 10 minutes once I, I go to bed, that's, that's fine, you know? It just, uh, it's just moving along, kind of de-stressing. Uh, for me, I love taking uh, Scentsy soak or bath bombs uh, too. So even if I come home from work and it's midnight and maybe I'll start the water filling up the, the tub, throw in my bath bomb, put my towels and my pajamas in the towel warmer. So I love my towel warmer. So they can start getting nice and warm, cozy and um, put the electric blanket on on my bed. So I'm nice and warm when I go to bed. And whether I have a little glass of wine or a little cup of coffee, when the tub fills up, I just get in and just kind of relax and unwind. And sometimes I'm even been uh, putting on my face mask and uh, just laying in the tub with my face mask and my eye mask on and just relaxing. And to me, that is that is really helping me kind of de-stress at the end of the day and maybe read a couple of chapters or just five or ten minutes at the end of the day. And that's just really, really good. I get, I've been getting into this murder club. Well, I've probably got two books so far, but um, I read the first one and I really, really liked it. So it's the Woman's Murder Club series from James Patterson. And so I've got the second one in the series. So I'm reading that and just really, really loving it. Like I said, I'm not uh, sitting and reading for a couple hours because when you go to bed at, uh, you know, 12 o'clock, 12.30, I mean, it's hard to read for a couple of hours and still get up and function in the morning, if you know what I mean. But another thing that I really like to do, and I haven't done it since the end of the summer, is I loved working in my planner, my Erin Condren planner. And for me, I used to plan a kind of like scrapbooking, kind of like memory planning, and then still putting in a little of the day-to-day, -day, you know, activities, things like that. But I just wanted to keep it light and fun. And I would put down any exercises that I did, um, what my steps were on the elliptical, um, whether I did like a DVD or my Pilates reformer or the treadmill. And I would total up the steps at the end of the uh, week and uh, weighed in and weighed out at the end of the week. And to me, just doing that was just so much fun and so de-stressful and just relaxing. And and I haven't done a video in a while, but you know, I would talk about the pictures that I would put in and it was just fun to look back at. And I thought maybe yes, from now the kids would like to, to kind of do those kind of video vlogs and look at pictures of themselves when they were younger and uh, the stories that I would tell around it. So to me, that was fun, but I, you know, I just kind of lost heart or something at the end of the summer last year. But anyway, I did my first spread and my new Erin Condren planner and I am so excited the way it came out. And um, so I didn't record it, I just kind of put it together on the side. But um, I would pick up whatever pictures I wanted to, to use for the week from anything that I had, whether it was new off my phone or just old archives and just pick a, a kit that I wanted to use or whether I liked the colors and just kind of go from there. And uh, I would have my friend Alexa uh, maybe play Moody Blues or Bread, just something really nice and soothing in the background while I did it. And it was just really fun. So let me show you the, uh, the one I did. And I am so excited the way this came out. And this I actually did for our daughter Sabrina, our youngest daughter, her birthday. And um, she probably won't want me to tell you how old she is, but she was born in 1978. So anyway, got some pictures of her growing up through the years. I don't know if this is all in here or not. And then uh, got my elliptical things and the kit. And it just, uh, 
yeah so it's just a lot of fun uh, for me to do this and it's kind of relaxing and just it's just soothing it's just unwinding it's doing something you enjoy just me time and maybe that's what p part of wellness wednesday is it's just finding something that you love to do and just having fun with it and yes yeah, so i've got like my elliptical steps and the temperatures off to the side any steps that i did during the week um with my fitbit and of course pictures of sabrina and then at the end of the week i've got it kind of totaled what my elliptical steps were how many hours i had pedaled for how many miles and then of course the fitbit steps my weight in and out and then just uh yeah just anything that was going on so for me i i really enjoy doing this so i think i am going to include this as part of my wednesday um wellness wednesday fitness goals it's just it's just something more of i something i love to do something that's for me um yeah just things are falling down behind me but yeah so for me that's part of the wellness wednesday is is just de-stressing and taking time out for me and doing something i enjoy and and a lot of it too is is uh getting back to be able to do a couple of hours every night on youtube and watch videos and just have fun watching and supporting everyone to me that is the most amazing and the fun part of youtube is just building up the friendships and the love and support that we have for one another so anyway i'm going to close it short i hope you all go out um have fun meeting your goals don't beat yourself off if you had a bad week or you didn't get to do what you wanted to do tomorrow's another day and we just all start again fresh so take care everyone i'm looking forward to watching your videos and catching up on everything that i've been missing take care everyone bye-bye